Hi guys, I thought I would do a get, well not really get ready with me because there's nowhere to get ready for, but I thought I would do a little chitty, a little, a little chitty, a little chit chat, get ready with me kind of thing. Um, I thought I'd be cute and curl my hair, but it did not come out cute because my hair is dead. Let's go. So I'm going to start with my brows the way I normally would, which is with some soap and some fix boss. Well, in this lockdown, this is the second lockdown in Victoria. Um, it's been a bit more strict. Everything's basically stage four. I haven't been working this lockdown, which is making me crazy because um, I literally live for work. So if I'm not at work, I'm generally at home sleeping. So yeah, so we're probably about like, I feel like we're at week eight of lockdown. Um, not handling it very well. I'm going a bit stir crazy. I've really um, gotten into nesting as well. So I did a big shop online at IKEA because obviously all the shops close for a house that I don't have. Um, so that was fun and I was kicking myself afterwards because I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, so I'm just going through my brows with um, the dip brow now. Same thing I'm using all my other videos anyway. Yeah, so I bought like literally everything for a house. I bought like towels, bedding, um, a dining arrangement, um, like candles for decorating and stuff in fall or autumn. What else did I get? I got cutlery, crockery. Yeah, it's not good. It's not cool. So I said before I'm not going to use eyeshadow primer, but I'm still going to use my P. Louise to carve out my brows. Yeah, so um, nesting's been like my main thing. But the second lockdown, I actually haven't been spending, and anyone that knows me knows I have a problem. And I say problem lightly, like very loosely. I have like a debilitating problem with spending. So um, I've actually been really, really good this time, aside from that. But yeah, I was like, oh, I'm not even going to, I'm, I'm going to hide it. I'm not going to tell anyone that I did this Ikea order. And then straight away, I Snapchatted my friends and was like, so I made a mistake. Um, it won't come till November anyway, but who knows where I'll be then. I'm very controlling, so like things like plates being stacked weird or um, like bin not being cleaned. Like literally just mini miniature things that like no one should be in trouble for, but I'm still being a dictator and making everyone's life miserable, which makes me very anxious because I know that I'm doing it. But I'm still doing it. You know when you're drunk and you know you're gonna do something stupid but you can't stop yourself? That's me. That's literally what I'm like. All the time, not even when I'm drinking. So, Which is probably like one of the main reasons I don't drink because it, it scares me that everyone will hate me. So yeah, I'm getting a, copying a lot of eye rolls and um, I've got a really bad attitude that I need to work on so everyone that lives with me is dealing with that. I buff it in really lightly like that. Now I'm going to go in with the Hourglass 1.5 Mechanical Gel Eyeliner. I love this eyeliner. I think it's the best thing in the world. It's really good for um, tight lining, so you don't have any things showing on your lashes. Yeah, so I'm just going to go from the bottom, like the very lash line, and like squiggle it in there and do that. Yeah, so lockdown, like it, it definitely hasn't been bad at all. I feel like I'm getting closer with my boyfriend. Um, we're definitely annoying each other, but nothing, like nothing bad. Like just a normal amount. Cause he's at home as well so it's actually been really good i've really really enjoyed it for the relationship part and you know i think him seeing a lot more of what i do when i'm not at work is good because like he realizes i don't just sit around and do nothing all right so i'm going to oh no you're joking it's running out <laughs> i need to do under my lashes i'm gonna try and get the last little bit it's burning because i'm literally just rubbing plastic on my waterline but yeah, I think it's really important that you get under there when you're doing a smoky eye because you don't want to see any like fleshy parts of your eye. Mm, so cute. Also, my eye's super red again. So that's awesome, but that's I think because I had a headache. So I'm going to go in with a little smudger brush and smudge out what is on my lid. So it's, yeah, really good to get that real smoky definition. So, like that. And this is a one time in my life where I can appreciate having... Um, oily eyelids that transfer because it kind of helps the gel travel a bit more and I can see where I want it to be. So I grabbed the Natasha Denona Star Palette, which is a bit, she's a bit messy but basically we're going with the chocolate colours and the tan colours. So I'm going to start that deep chocolate at the top of the palette, which is F. So I'm going to take the same brush that I blended everything out with and go upside down onto my lash line and just pack the colour. You don't want to blend it where you've got it dark so it's basically setting the liner now even though it sets itself yeah um didn't realize i'd miss my friends this much either like i love my friends obviously but i always count myself as not a really social girl 
and now I'm just like, if I don't get out and go for a walk with someone, I will die. And there's no one that lives in my town, everyone lives in the next town, and they're in stage four, I'm in stage, well, they're in stage three now, I'm in stage two. So, like, yes, I'm grateful that I have options, but there's nowhere that I can actually go, because there's no one to go with. And my boyfriend won't go with me anywhere because he wants to spend this time, which is fair enough, like he was working really hard. He wants to spend this time at home and enjoy his time off, which is very fair. I can't, I can't be mad at that, but I wish he would come out with me. I also, I don't want to go out, out. I mean, when I say out, I want to go to like a hike or walking or something like that. Not, not like going shopping and going to like bars and stuff. I just literally want to go for walks in nature. Alright, so I'm going to get a fluffier brush and blend that out at the top, so my crease, just to get it ready for a transition shade. Um, yeah, so I really just want to go for a walk with my friends and we were, we were laughing the other day um, because the last few walks we were meant to do, I was we were really lax and we'd like just go get lunch instead and skip the walk. So yeah, we've been saying we'll never take that for granted again. But yeah, I guess, um, if anything, lockdown really makes you grateful for the things you have and realise that your life isn't that bad. It's definitely not. There's definitely much worse situations to be in than lockdown. Alright, so I've kind of got that blended at the top. I'm going to go in with this one here. The kind of, it's called Flesh. I'm going to go in with that in my crease. 50% on the shadow, 50% on the lid. Um, just to blend it out. But yeah, really, really, really miss all the things we could have been doing. And definitely, definitely miss work. But yeah, I like everyone's in the same boat, you know, you can complain all you want, but it's not news to anyone, which I think is nice because it's all relatable at the moment. And I'm very lucky, I had a, I still have a job, um, I still have something to go back to. Also, like, I had a job the whole start of lockdown as well, so that was really good. Um, yeah. I just, I can't wait to get back to how things were and really like take hold of like opportunities and just freaking like go with it. But yeah. So yeah, when you're blending it out in the transition, you tend to lose a bit of the intensity at the top that you still want. Um, so I'll go back in with that when I've kind of sorted out a shape I want with this. I really love the Natasha Denona eyeshadows. I think they're really pigmented. All right, so I've kind of sorted out a shape why does my hair look like this? Um, I've kind of sorted out a shape. I'm going to go in with this one down the bottom, on top of that, which is Titania. Yeah, I haven't done like a simple, just matte look in so long. I also don't know if um, I want to put like a liner in it or not. I'm using the same brush as well. Things I'm excited for this year. Well, it's getting really warm now, which I don't like because I hate summer. And it's only spring, but like today it's 27 degrees and I'm literally dying, like dying. Yeah, I think I might smoke out a liner just on the lash line, not a wing. Let's see how that looks. I kind of want to do a brown, but I don't have a brown liquid. No, I don't. So I'm going to do the matte Anastasia one. And yeah, I like to just bring it into the pupil. Um, makes my eyes look a lot browner and it just really like, angles the eye in a flattering way. Right, so we'll start on the face now. Wow, I'm really annoying. I'm very sorry if you're watching this. Alright, so I've got my primer going, lit. Um, I'm just gonna, that's my um, eyeshadow base, I'm gonna wipe that on my leg because I'm a mess. And I know when I put it here, when I put it here, it ends up in my hair and on my face in weird places. Alright, anyway. So I'm going to use the Josie Moran Vibrancy Foundation. It's an argan oil foundation, so it's super hydrating and super, super lightweight. I was going to use the Drunk Elephant um, Deep Bronzy, but I don't think I need to because this one looks a bit darker than my skin. So I'm going to, yeah, my neck is so pale, but my shoulders aren't. So yeah, I'm just going to, there isn't, it looks like a lot on my face, but I feel like there's not that much so nice on especially if you have drier skin because it just it gives you such a nice glow all right I lied I did put too much on but that's fine that's fine 
when I do cream products, I like to do my bronzer first and then my highlighter because I feel like otherwise I just, it, it like joins into itself. Um, I don't know if I got any cream brushes. Yeah, I did. I did. It's cool. So I use a really little one um, for the bronzer because I feel like I like to use... If I use a bigger brush, I just get it everywhere and it doesn't become um, bronzer anymore. It becomes like my whole face. Yeah, my forehead's tiny. It's what I like about my body. It's the only thing that's small. I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Born This Way Kitchen Sealer now. This is my personal colour. I'm doing a big shop when I come back to work and like setting up my whole kit again because it's been so long um, without using a product. So I know they're going to be... Even if they're not off, they're just going to be different. So I want to do a whole new shop. So now I just use everything that I have here for myself. So if you see me not decanting, don't come for me. Just, I use a mixture of the pink and the um, lighter shade. Because I feel like the pink really offsets any darkness I have going under my eye. So it takes away the shine, but it leaves a really diffused look behind. Oh my god, it's like melted and I put so much on my brush, on my hand. So I'm just going to use this part of my palm to get most of the product off the brush before I pop it on the face. That's what I do with clients as well, because you don't want it to be too intense straight off the bat and they're like, what the hell are you doing? Blend that into my bronzer and up as well, because I feel like you get a really nice um, like C shape and it hugs your eye socket so it doesn't look too shallow. And I have really deep set eyes, so... I feel like that makes it come forward a bit. A little bit on my nose, not too much. I put too much. <laughs> I think a lot of people are scared to use creams because they feel like it's going to move around the makeup and foundation you've already got going. But I think if you're using, like, even with a brush padding motion, not rubbing, it's never a problem. I tend to do that with most of my foundation, um, foundation blush, whether it's powder or not, because it just gives you a more diffused look, which is really pretty. I always suggest setting cream products because otherwise there's no point putting it on it's just gonna disappear so I'm gonna oh my god I got so much blush on my brush I'm gonna go in with the ambient lighting powder bronzer in there padding just gives you a lot more control of where you're placing it as well which is great nothing wrong with a bit of control no. oh my god I just squeezed I closed it on my finger and it really hurt. Over the highlighted areas with the Mecca Cosmetica Enlightened Powder because I feel like nothing is brighter than this. Now I'm going to go in on the lower lash line under here with a little pencil brush. Darkest colour first on the real outer V because I want to accentuate where I really brought out my eye. And again, not going further than the pupil. If I had more of that gel highlighter, I would have put that down first on the bottom. But I can't, because I don't have any. I can't believe it ran out. I'm so sad. Like, it actually lasted me a really, really long time, which is good. But it just ran out at the worst possible time. Correct. Now with that fluffier brush, I'm going to blend out and upwards at the very, very edge to give kind of like a smoky liner. But not really. Attic. Um, just everywhere else, I didn't put eyeshadow just now. Um, BRB, I will put lashes on. Alright, and I'm using a warm dark rosy lip liner. And I'll just put a gloss over it. And a Mecca Mac, Make a Max gloss in Rude Nude. Silk Tens from... Uh, model rock lashes. So these are really light and fluffy, which is nice. All right, yeah, much nicer. All right, let me fix up my hair. Look, just brown, warm, chilled out, really glowy. Can we hold this chin? Really glowy. Hey, thanks for joining in. <laughs>